Hey, this week we're back in this mixed development in Aogang District 19 and we have a rare three bedroom patio unit that's coming online for just 1.15 mil. And I don't think you want to miss this. So join us today as we take you on a home tour in this development, which is Midtown Residences. Developed by Oxley Lian Bing, this project was completed in 2016, houses 160 units and has a tenure from 2013 of 99 years. The land size is 5,300 square meters and the gross floor area is 10,500 square meters. The plot ratio is 2 and the residential units are built up to the 11th storey which is the highest. So let's talk about the facilities. You've got a basketball court, barbecue pit area, a sky gymnasium, playground and even a beautiful swimming pool. So because of the unique positioning of the unit, we're here on the facilities deck and if you will recap, this is a mixed development. This full deck is facilities, residential is all above but on the facilities deck, there are also units and uh, this very three bedroom patio is just right over here. Let's head right over. So you can tell that the condo is nicely kept. You've got lush greenscaping all across. You've got planters by the footway and the pathway leads you into this private entry over here. So this is the unit. Let's go check it out. Come on in guys. So it has a direct access from the patio area. And let's first go to the floor plan. I want to walk you through it to give you a little bit more perspective. So the unit size is 797 square feet, comes with three bedrooms, two bathrooms and through the main door you come into the dining area, then the living and then you have a big patio that runs along the side of bedroom number one and the master bedroom. So you also have a bomb shelter beside the kitchen and the bathroom is right beside bedroom number two because the master of course has an ensuite bathroom. Okay, so let's talk about the orientation. This is a direct north facing and this is the east. So you're facing a northeast. morning sun comes from this stretch which is very nice and lovely. If you have a quick look of the exterior, you're basically facing the pool and beyond that is the gym and then you've got the sunbathing decks and further down this is all green, 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 green and then this patio actually extends in this manner. You have the common bedroom, master bedroom and you have, you know, even just follow me as I show you. You have additional space over here to do your laundry. And then of course there's the aircon compressors. So let's go back into the unit. And I want to show you out here what you can really use it for is an outdoor dining just like this for your friends and family to enjoy when they're coming over. Then we're going into the living room and it's a very beautiful 3.3 meters high ceiling which makes the space so wide. You've got a lovely TV just right across here, TV console all going for you. And I want to talk about the entrance over here. So you've got a dual passage. This is actually the main door, which is the flip of your northeast facing. So this is the southwest. For feng shui fans, this is definitely uh, one good facing that you'll be interested in. So let's go this way and I want to show you where are you going to put all your stuff? You've got a bomb shelter that's going to help you keep all your barang barang and that's going to be very useful for you right across. Let's go into this lovely room. So this is a good size room. You can put in a super single bed over here. You've got a wardrobe going just right across and right now our owners have set it up as a study. So you've got the iMac over here. So let's just go across. I'm going to show you the bathroom. So. How are you going to reach the bathroom? It is diagonally across over here and it services these two rooms. Let me just show you. Again with the full height wardrobe space, then you're coming towards a lot of natural light because you've got windows over here and then a single bed has been put in. If you wanted to, you can even fit it up as a double decker. The reason is because you have this 3.3 meter high ceiling uh, if your young ones are still you know, growing, I think they'll appreciate that. Now let's head into the master. So master is very good size. You have basically a 3.6 meter length over here. And this is approximately 2.7 meters long. And you even have a ensuite bathroom right over here. Have a quick look. So if you've been enjoying this home tour so far, then kindly smash that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. 
There's also a huge wardrobe space over here for him and her for you to put all your clothing. And then you're gonna ask me, probably, where am I gonna do my cooking, right? So there's this open kitchen right in the middle of the house. You have lovely high ceiling here, so you've got full carpentry spaces. Okay, then you've got the induction cooker over here, which is very child friendly because it doesn't have that open flame. And then you have the concealed washer, come dryer area, and then also a concealed fridge space, just like this that blends in with the full carpentry. And it's very nice and neat. Next, let's look at nearby properties for the price comparison. So the average PSF range is 940 to 1672 and Midtown Residences is packed at an average of $1,304 per square feet which is relatively close to the middle as compared to the high which is Tembusu. So if you're selecting on the basis of a budget that's not going to exceed 1.2 million with a project that is very close by to the amenities and MRT, then I think that this would be very interesting for you. So looking at the average rental performance, here you can see Midtown Residences commands $3.5 per square foot per month and has a healthy volume of 79 contracts across the last financial calendar period of 2020. If you look at the comparative cluster range, which is $1.4 per square feet per month to $4.2 per square feet per month, Midtown Residences is packed at $3.5 per square feet per month, which falls on the higher end of the spectrum. So this tells us that the rental demand is actually very decent and the volume is very healthy. So now let's talk about the location. If you're thinking about accessibility, then there are 10 bus stops in a 1km radius. You've got direct access to Aogang Station, which is just 5 minutes away. And if you're wondering where to do your grocers, then there's Kangkang Mall Fair Price, and there's Aogang Mall, and all within a 250m radius. So the other thing you might be interested in is where the good schools are. So there are 7 schools in a 1km radius, and you've got Holy Innocence Primary and High School, CHIJ Our Lady of Nativity and Monfort Junior and Secondary School which are the regional top choices in Alga. So if this feels like your next home, then smash the like button and give us a call. I'm Nick Khan, Selling Singapore, and we'd be happy to show you the place. I'll see you soon.